Follow along with me in workout 16 as I combine the TRX with the heavy bag in this beginner style workout. Hey Punch Fitters, this is Chris Hunter, owner of Punch Fit, and here's your movement standards for today's workout. The first round will focus on the upper body pulling muscles by doing the TRX row. Start by adjusting the straps to mid length. Facing the anchor point, grab the handles with palms facing each other and your arms fully extended. Walking towards the anchor point, match the position of your feet with your current fitness level. When your feet are closer to the anchor point, the more challenging the movement becomes. Farther away makes it easier. From there, go to your heels and point your toes at the ceiling. Imagine drawing a J with your shoulders to avoid slouching throughout the movement. Lock out your core and make sure all five kinetic chain points are in perfect alignment. Pull your hands into your armpits with a two count, slowly bringing yourself back down. When the round is completed, walk back to safely exit the exercise. Round two will focus on the pushing muscles by doing the TRX press. Adjust the straps to full length, Face away from the anchor point, grab the handles with palms facing the floor. Lock out your arms, point them straight ahead in a Frankenstein stance and walk away from the anchor point. Match the position of your feet with your current fitness level. When your feet are closer to the anchor point, the more challenging the movement becomes. Farther away makes it easy. This time, lift your heels and go up to the balls of your feet. Lock out your core, make sure all five kinetic chain points are in perfect alignment. Bending your elbows, bring your hands out and control your descent. Once you feel a stretch in your chest, push up, bringing your hands together and back to the start position. At the top of the press, focus on bringing the shoulders together to activate all the muscle fibers in the pectoral muscles. Don't allow the straps to touch your shoulders throughout the movement. When done, walk forward to safely exit the exercise. In round three, we give the upper body a break and go after the lower body by doing the TRX front squat. Keep the straps at full length and continue to face away from the TRX. Palms are facing each other, but this time the straps are under your arm. Keep your arms strong and locked out in the shape of a V. Match the position of your feet with your current fitness level. Again, while your feet are closer to the anchor point, the more challenging the movement becomes. Farther away makes it easy. Once again, lift your heels and go to the balls of your feet. Lock out your core, make sure those five kinetic chain points are in perfect alignment. Bend your knees, slowly go down as if sitting in a chair. Once at the bottom, drive back up to the start position. To get the full benefit of this movement, pause at the top, flex and engage your quads. When done, walk forward to safely exit the exercise. In round four, we will be doing some core conditioning. This time we'll be going into an intermediate movement that is a little bit more challenging. Bring the straps up slightly to mid calf, Put your feet in the cradles. Start on your butt and put your right foot in the left cradle. Then your left leg goes under your right leg into the other cradle. Flip over and now you are facing the floor with your back to the anchor point. Keep your hands under your shoulders and drive yourself up into a plank position. Lock out your core and make sure again that all five kinetic chain points are in perfect alignment. When done, slowly bring your knees down, lift your feet up and out of the TRX cradle. If any of these movements still look challenging, reach out to a certified trainer that can coach you on proper form. Pace should be slow and controlled as we are using your body weight as resistance. Think one, two, count down and one, two, count up. I will be giving you 35 seconds to do each movement, which should be enough time to complete eight to 10 reps per set. Any more and you're moving too fast. Prior to the workout, complete a full body warm up. If you need ideas, check out our warm up video. Once you complete the workout, rest for two minutes and repeat three more times for the best results. All right, enough talk. Hang your TRX, grab your boxing gloves, meet me at the heavy bag. It's time to get fit. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Starting with the TRX roll. Slow your descent. Again, we are looking for anywhere between eight to 10 reps. Keep your eyes focused on the anchor point and make sure you stay locked out. One straight line from your head all the way to your heels. Inhale on the way back, exhale on the way up. Good, from there, just walk back. Now we have 20 seconds, so you have to hustle, get your gloves on. And today we're just gonna be keeping the combination simple so that you can work super fast. We're gonna stick with our odd number combinations, starting with combo number three. And it looks like this. It's gonna be a jab, cross, 
hook. So with me, here we go. Jab, cross, hook. Take the gloves off. We gotta transition quickly. For the TRX, the cam buckles, bring them down about halfway. Fully extend the straps. From here, get your hands out so you look like Frankenstein. Walk your feet back, go on your toes, and shoot for anywhere between eight to 10 reps. If you're able to get more than that, you're moving too fast. Then at the top, really think about bringing those shoulders together so that you activate the upper pectoral muscles as well. Good, walk forward to get out of that. Continuing on with the odd series, we're gonna go ahead and do combo number five. And combo number five looks like this. It's gonna be a jab, cross, hook, rear uppercut, hook. Combo number five, here we go. Cross, hook, uppercut, hook. From here, we're gonna keep the stra uh, straps fully lengthened, but we're gonna bring them underneath our armpits. Again, we're facing away from the anchor point. Palms facing each other. Legs are straight. Walk yourself back while you're on the ball of your foot. Bring yourself down and come up. At the top, Make sure that you fully engage your quads and your glutes. Man, you're gonna feel this one. This one really activates the quads. Good, from there, all you simply have to do is walk forward. Let go of the straps. Now we're gonna go into punch fit combo number seven. So again, it's gonna start with three, which is our jab cross hook, rear uppercut, rear cross. So it looks like this, jab, cross, hook, rear uppercut, back to your face, rear cross. Now this next one's gonna to be tough. First thing that we gotta do is make sure that we adjust to mid calf. So I'm gonna bring the straps up slightly. I'm gonna go down to my butt. I'm gonna start by taking my right leg and putting my right foot in the left side. My left leg is gonna go underneath my right and put my left foot in the right cradle. From there, I'm gonna adjust my feet 
turn over, make sure my hands are underneath my shoulders, and then from here, I'm gonna bring my legs back and just hold plank. This is a tough one. You wanna make sure that your butt isn't sagging or that your feet are going out wide. So instead, feet go together, bring the butt up, lock out your core. No bend in the elbows. I like to think about trying to bring my elbows in so that they touch each other. <laughs> Why are you so violent? <laughs> you are so violent. Good. Now from here, slowly bring your knees down so that they don't crash into the ground. And you simply just have to lift your feet and then they'll come right out of the cradles. Let's get back up. Now we're gonna go into my favorite combination in our punch fit series, which is combination number nine. And it looks like this. I'm gonna start with a jab, a cross, a hook, body shot, so we're going after the spleen, and then a left hook. Jab, cross, hook, drop their hands by hitting them in the spleen, then from there, hand comes up, strong hook to knock them out. All right, that was workout 16. Repeat that three more times and put some comments below to let me know if you like that particular workout. Special thanks to my lovely wife, Annetta, for filming that video. If you like this workout, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to click on that bell to get notified of new video releases. Until next time, get fit. Get strong. Get tough. You'll get it right one day. <laughs>